Hello again. Well, it's been another tumultuous day in the short history of Adelaide United with coach John Cosmina walking out on the club. Red players have been called to Hindmarsh. Tom Wren is there. And Tom, why did Cosy quit? Well, Kim, he cited a lack of trust between himself and the club as one of the major reasons this whole thing has broken down. It leaves Michael Valcanis as the interim coach. We caught up with him exclusively just a few minutes ago. But as far as Cosy's concerned, he wanted to be the coach next season. Just last month, he was seeking a new two-year deal and the board said, we'll address that on February 12th. He didn't make it that far, Kim, instead deciding to email Chairman Greg Griffin this morning, saying he'd no longer be the Reds' coach. Dario, you shocked Players arrived at Hindmarsh a short time ago, still in disbelief. Sorry, mate, I'm speechless. I can't comment. Greg Griffin says he was completely blindsided by Cosmina's actions and believed they had a good affiliation. Well, I thought it was pretty good, but I've probably never been very good at judging relationships, obviously. But in an explosive letter to the Football Australia website this morning, Cosy says he can see no clear direction or vision at the club. He says decision-making at management level is reactive and impulsive at best and that he simply cannot and will not work in an environment which otherwise lacks trust. Just two days ago, Cosmina reaffirmed his desire to continue at Hindmarsh. Yes, How long? Yes, How many years? Long as it lasts. But it seems his patience ran out. He's acted in an entirely precipitous way and the club has acted in an entirely sensible, commercial and reasonable way. Assistant coach Michael Valcanis will take the reins until the end of the season. They're difficult circumstances. We weren't expecting it. And uh, I guess the club is bigger than any individual. But Griffin takes exception to a website fueled rumour. Valcanis was already being groomed to replace Cosmina as coach. But that's just an outrageous lie. And whoever is responsible for that has got a lot to answer for. That's the sort of stuff that does come out of football environments and that I can't, uh, you can't stop it. And um, uh, that's what's a little bit frustrating for me and I hate that sort of talk. The Reds are expected to advertise for a replacement. I think there'll be a Melbourne Cup field for people wanting to coach Adelaide United. Tom Wren, Nine News.